please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Hello and welcome to uh, this quick update on XAU USD Gold. Uh, my name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. If you have not seen my previous analysis, please do check that out because uh, this one is going to be a quick update on it. Um, uh, now, previous analysis can give you a far more in-depth analysis and answers to some of your questions. So please do check that out first before uh, coming to this one. Now, gold on weekly time frame, um, as we can clearly see that we have this M pattern forming here. Now, when we have an M pattern, usually this is how it actually happens. When you have an M pattern, in the middle of it, we get a w pattern you'll see that quite often and this is the w pattern which is forming in fact there are multiple w patterns in there okay so when we had this smaller w pattern we had a good fall from it we were expecting it to continue to fall further down but market obviously turned bullish and uh, there was one particular candle in in the, in particular which actually changed the entire game and uh, this is this candle here so the first one was this was a pin bar and we were expecting market to come down but this bullish candle changed the entire game because this is an engulfing candle and this is also a very strong candle in our telegram group this is what i mentioned on four hour time frame i mentioned that you know this was going to be a um, very important level here this candle here this is where majority of the buy orders came in because uh, this was a strong candle and I was expecting market to come down below this level because why? Because if it had done that, if it would have nullified this bullish momentum, obviously this bearish candle never came below this previous bullish momentum, bullish candle. That's why the market kept on going higher. And now in this process, we have this W pattern here. And this W pattern does not actually complete here where it is right now. So a lot of people will think that this is actually a double top. This can actually turn into a double top as well. However, if you talk about only the W pattern, this does not complete here. This actually goes somewhere here around 1987. I'll show you those levels when we go to the four hour time frame uh, and open the analysis. So this is quite a possibility. Now, one of the thing is, that if the market comes here at 1987, 2000 is not that far away. There will be a difference of $13 left between them. So 2000 is probably going to be psychological level anyway. So we can expect market to go and like, you know, overstretch itself. That is quite a possibility. Um, gold right now is at previous structure level here. And it this one, this part is actually parabolic right now. Um, so, and also the previous week, if I go to the weekly time frame once again, the previous week's candle is very strong candle. So if it actually goes above the previous resistance here, this one, uh, this around 1974 level or so, if it goes beyond this, we can expect good movement to the upside. So next week we can expect a, a bullish movement. However, on smaller time frames, there can be like you know a little bit of downward movement before going back up. So weekly is bullish however in smaller time frames if you are trading smaller time frames then they can be obviously short term short opportunities as well there is one case here uh, on m30 on the 30 minutes time frame which i'll show you in a, in a little bit when we go to water and research uh, which can actually make gold fall uh, like you know to somewhere around here 1938 or so okay but right now this is like a w pattern and as soon as this breaks the previous high, it is going to go to 1987. And most likely, it will continue to go to 2000 or even higher than that. Let's bring in the original analysis. So this is the candle I was talking about. And this was my comment here, uh, which actually did not work out. Why? Because the market never came below this candle. So these levels have worked out very nicely. Uh, there was very good reversal opportunity here very good reversal opportunities around here very good reversal opportunities around here market has come back into this fcp zone so we can expect market to go down a little bit and if you get a confirmation to the downside go for a short okay now when you're going for a short this fcp zone which used to be resistance now should act as support so that should be a profit target and support level as well if the market goes beyond this fcp zone and you get a confirmation to the upside then go for a long position go to 1987 but after that this entire area can be very 
uh, confusing because there can be lots or lots of uh, ups and downs there can be a lot of choppiness around here so trade what you see and trade only if you are comfortable around this area why there will be choppiness because it will be very close to 2000 and everybody will anticipate that this will go to 2000 and market makers will try to manipulate price around this area several times it will try to go up and down so be very very careful around this area okay now if the market continues to go higher it will continue to go to 2025 and maybe 2034 as well why because when usually price comes back to retest a round number it does not actually stop at round number it's sometimes it actually goes a little bit above that and then comes down so what we are looking for is you can go long from here above this fcp zone if you get a confirmation 1987 this is a confusing area this can there can be a lot of manipulation here if you, if the market continues to go beyond 20 20 uh, sorry uh, 2000 and you get a chance to get involved then it can rise all the way to 2025 and in fact 2034 as well but why these are in red because they are extreme levels and market can fall down ultimately the market is expected to fall down from any of these levels in a weird case scenario in m30 as i said before the market can start to fall down from where it is right now and let me show you why let's go to the water and visage and let's look at uh, the weekly time frame first on weekly time frame all of these white dots are profit targets they have already been met the only profit target which has not been met is this one which is 20 27 level here i'll post these charts below the below this video and in, in our telegram group as well okay you can refer to them later on so this is a weekly time frame if i go to the daily on daily time frame um there is no target here however what you can see there is a gap of label here and gold never leaves any kinds of gaps open so ultimately at some point in time gold is going to fall down to this level which is close to 18 uh, 1889 so that is quite a possibility now if i go to the four hour time frame that's the w pattern which we have already talked about now let's go to the m30 now, m30 this is the one i was just talking about this is looking like a very weird price action so at some point in time the market is going to fall so this is why i'm saying like you know on the open of the market um, tomorrow you can expect like you know if th there can be a weird case where it can just start to fall down to clean this up before it can start to rise up so if i go back to the analysis this is where we are and if i go to the 30 minutes time frame this is extremely overstretched and that's why the market can fall down to clean this up so beware of that trade what you see if you, if you're not feeling comfortable then don't you do not have to trade so plan is above this confirmation go long all the way to 18 19 sorry 1987 um, any chance of like you know any chance or any confirmation to the downside take that this should be your target around 1951 and it can also come down to that uh, gap remember but for that it will have to go through all of these levels one by one i'll post these charts in the in the in the comments as i said okay on the top on the upper side these are all the levels that you should be able to see on here so hopefully you found this useful if you did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share it with other traders and trading communities if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way i do using fibonacci confluence then head over to vikinsa.com and under training section you'll be able to see core strategy training program on this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure the brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the fibonacci confluence training program curriculum this is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability if you're interested in joining this program come to vikinsa.com and under training section you'll be able to see and submit this form